Padia curator for the show Lights, Color, True From. Uh, this show is very interesting because it is based on the literary text, the poem of T.S. Eliot, uh, which is called The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. So we uh, looked at 23 contemporary artists from India and we tried to see how the response to this poem. This poem was actually written in 1911 and published in 1915. Uh, but what's interesting about it is that it is considered to be the epitome of modernism and it has certain themes uh, in it that resonate with the people even today. Um, and so it's one of the most widely known poems of, of modernism. And uh, so we went to all these artists and we, uh, you know, we uh, told them about the poem and we saw their, vis their responses visually. This show was actually conceptualized four or five years ago, me and Jyoti. And I had read this poem when I was in my college. Jyoti being a professor of literature, English literature, I spoke to her and she was also very keen that says, can we have an exhibition on this? And then we started this whole idea of requesting the artists. Many of the artists in this exhibition are very new. New not in the sense of that they are not practicing uh, recently, but they have been practicing for a long time, but have been exposed here. And we are very happy with the works and very happy with the exhibition. I think each and every artist has contributed their own feed. We had given them total freedom in work. Just the subject matter was a poem, that's it. That's how it started. It went up and happy to be there. Great job. Yeah, so my work really represents uh, marginalization and it talks about the millions of nameless, faceless people who are just living that life, or surviving, or you know, you are just anonymous, you're not, uh, you may have great uh, thought process, you may have uh, you know, great ideas, but you're just lost in this noisy world and it's a really sad thing that individuality is what human beings are all about, we like to believe we are. But uh, noise is really here to, uh, to be heard, and that's really so. Don't want to sound depressing, but uh, you know, as an artist, I think uh, you can create something which uh, you feel that people will notice and maybe hear your voice out of that. What you want to say? So that's it. Thanks. I'm sure.
but a charity with the participant of this exhibition. You know, this exhibition of ours is a wonderful experience. The reason is, you know, the challenge by Jyoti as a given and I go through this poem and I can see this, you know, which, you know, it's something which is related to my influence. So I figure out that great work in front of the So that exhibition is that the world is basically inverse in the group. So that concept, you know, really striking me in my own. So because I have my works, usually I am very much stainless steel, which is reflected surface. So I you can see this, this surface is basically is a reflection of 360 degrees. So you can find out this point. It's very relevant to my work and whatever I you know did for my this exhibition is for this exhibition. So congratulations to Jyoti uh, Siddhartha and for organizing such a beautiful and organized exhibition. I'm from Papa Kajarati. I've been happy to be a part of uh, this show. Uh, I've been conceptualized by Ms. Jyoti and supported by Art Concert. Thank you. Thank you, Pip. And my choice of figurative artist, I like to draw dark figures with colorful smile. So I look at beauty in the face of your person. And uh, here is my LED show. I just the cat metaphor of the famous cat metaphor of T.S. Eliot's uh, from T.S. Eliot's poem. <laughs> One of the poems uh, being given by the curator to all the photographers and uh, artists who have participated in the show. And uh, for me, uh, the poem was integrated in the way I've shown over here. And I purposely went uh, to West Bengal because I had been this place a number of times. And uh, it uh, was there, always there in my mind that if uh, ever I get a chance to shoot this uh, building, uh, in the way it has been, and it fitted so well with uh, the poem being given to us. Uh, it was really a, a different experience, and it was very unique and challenging for me to do this uh, short because uh, this has all the uh, values of the poem which was being described. I read this and I immediately thought that I must go back to the place to take this image and. Uh, this is what has come up. I hope that everyone likes this. Thank you. So they, at some level, they connected in their keeping, in, you know, keeping in mind their own time and space. Uh, they connected with the poem and various things of the poem, like sexual anxiety, like indecision, like mental vacillation, like loneliness, like sadness, or even existential angst. So all the paintings that you see here are in some, are in some way or the other related to this poem. But the interesting thing about it is that it is in keeping with their own cultural spaces, their own time space access. And that's what makes this uh, exhibition so very interesting because uh, we are interpreting the poem given our own space here. And we are going back to about 100 years and then trying to see, uh, you know, uh, we are trying to see associations, we are trying to see differences. And we've got a stupendous response to this exhibition and I hope you all enjoy seeing it. Thank you.